Uh, last night, October 5th, 2022, at approximately 6.30 p.m., Baytown police officers responded to a call of a, of a shooting victim. Uh, they arrived in the area of Tri-City Beach Road and Evergreen Road and uh, found two people who were victims of gunshot wounds, uh, a male and a female. Officers immediately began life-saving measures. Uh, at that time, we received a second call of, uh, of a shooting or a shooting in progress that was further down the road at Bay Oaks Harbor uh, uh, Trailer Park. Uh, officers responded to that area as well. Um, during the, the, the course of, of this investigation, uh, we began life-saving uh, measures down there as well. Uh, the suspect uh, who was identified by witnesses at the scene uh, including a uh, suspect vehicle, uh, was observed uh, traveling northbound uh, back towards the original scene where uh, there was a confrontation between a suspect and the officers. And uh, unfortunately, our officers uh, were, were, were forced to discharge their weapons, resulting in uh, the death of the suspect. Now, in terms of the connection mm -hmm. between the two mm -hmm. locations, that's what we got a lot of questions about. Mm -hmm. What's so. the connection? So right now we can tell you uh, without hindering the investigation or hurting our progress that the suspect did live in the Bay Oaks Harbor trailer park. So he was from that area. Um, and we also have uh, the suspect's information that we're prepared to release. So. Did, he know the, did he know the couple? Did he know the couple that he shot initially? You know, at this time we don't have all of that information. It's believed that they may be uh, neighbors in the trailer park, in, in the community down there, but we just don't know. and. To, to date and at this point we can't speak to motive at this this time either just to be clear was it was mm -hmm. a couple he saw a shot at the first location yes okay uh, and yes. you're hearing from neighbors there that this was over a woman they were involved with is that something wrong yeah, we just don't have that information at this time and uh you know I, i'm not prepared to speculate it would be irresponsible and uh, when we have more information on anything involving motive or what drove this event uh we'll be happy to update it just what kind of conference That's that's an element of the investigation that we're not prepared to release yet. As we continue to investigate and get more details, we will update it for you. So right now you're not saying if he shot at officers. Correct. Do you know if their life was threatened? Is that way they shot? Them? Yeah. Any time that an officer uh, discharges their weapon, it has to be in defense of their own life or the life of another person. So and they were yeah. threatened some way. So yes, 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 yes. Right there, there there was a physical threat. Okay. Yes. Um, do you know how they um, shot the fire? I don't at this point. We're still processing the crime scene and collecting all the information. Do you know the current condition of the person who had to be taken by LifeWay? Yes, we later learned that uh, that the, the male from uh, Bay Oaks Harbor, who was life flighted to the emergency room, uh, was, was pronounced deceased at the hospital sometime later. What about the other three in the hospital? How are they? Uh, they're wounded but stable. Okay, so they are going to make it? As far as we know at this point, yes, it looks like they should be able to make a recovery. So now just in total, mm -hmm. if you have passed away, both men that were shot are dead, and the two women now are in stable condition. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Well, that's he, how, that's so, how he just gave us an update saying. No, I miss, mm -hmm. I miss how the mm -hmm. two, where were the two killed? Okay. The first location? One was, one was pronounced deceased at the first location. Okay. And the second was life flighted from the second location at Bay Oaks Harbor. Okay. And so he was dead. pronounced deceased later at the hospital. And two women are alive. Mm -hmm. yes, that's okay. correct. One of the women who was shot, she was just a bystander, correct? She was a witness? Uh, we're not really sure at this point. That's that's something our investigators are still trying to uncover to get the information. And you got to remember, last night was a tragedy for everybody. Uh, a lot of families were impacted and affected. And uh, so that's the reason we're not releasing the names of any of our victims at this point. And our investigators were out on the scene processing it. And now that we have a uh, little more opportunity during the daylight, they'll be out checking the area again, uh, continuing to follow up on interviewing witnesses. Uh, interviewing the witnesses immediately after a traumatic event can sometimes be problematic. Any idea when you can uh, say, uh, release any information about the suspect? Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the suspect was identified as Ron Welch. Uh, spelling of his last name is W-E-L-C-H, 33 years old of Baytown. Any prior history? Yes. Any prior history? Uh, that's, uh, that's something I'll have to look into and, and, and get back with you on.
just want to be clear, mm -hmm. the gunman shot four people, two are dead. Correct. And he was shot by police. Yes, ma'am. At the uh, current, the beginning location. The first yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Including him. Including the suspect. Okay. How are the officers doing? Uh, the officers are doing well. Uh, one of the first things that we always do when an officer is involved in any kind of traumatic event is make sure that uh, they begin getting uh, getting counseling. So they'll be going through, uh, have the opportunity to have counseling and mental health support as well. Are they on leave, paid leave? Yes, they'll be on paid administrative leave per policy during the course of the investigation. They're going to be outside the agency investigating or you're uh, we're investigating along with the district attorney's office. We heard there was a car accident involved mm -hmm. too with all of this. Um, did you mm -hmm. verify if that had anything to do after with the first mm -hmm. shooting? Um, the suspect did run off the road into a culvert. Um, and we also did have a, a, a police vehicle that was struck by a, by a civilian vehicle. So. so too early to say whether this had anything to do possibly with the road rage or anything? Yeah, we just don't know. We just. At this point, we don't know exactly what the motive was. That's going to take some time uh, for the investigators to determine. But we know he knew them, and there was some sort of argument. That's what you mentioned before. Well, what I mentioned before is uh, they were, they all lived in the same area. Oh. So, the, so, so we know that they were at least neighbors in the same community. And, and you said there was some sort of argument between. No. That that I don't know. You don't know uh, for yeah. Sure. Okay. yeah, we're still trying to determine what the uh, you know what the motive is, what the catalyst was. And they were shot in the car? The the first two, the first two. victims were, yes. Has the weapon been recovered? Uh, we're still conducting the investigation and processing the crime scene. We, uh, you know, there, there's some elements of the investigation that we're just not prepared to release right now. So. Were the second two, uh, the second pair shot at like an apartment or outside? No, they were, they were outside. Okay, they were so, just outside. Yes. Beg your pardon? 33. 33 years old? Yes, ma'am. Do we know how old the victims are? Not at this time. So, so just real quick, so they were neighbors, he was neighbors with that couple, the initial couple, but then when he left and he went to that second shooting location, were they neighbors as well, or was that kind of random? Because initially yesterday they told us mm -hmm. the woman slowed down to see what was yeah. happening, and that's when he looked at her and says, well, as far as being neighbors, I don't know that they lived right next door to each other, but we do know that they all lived in that same general area. Everybody yeah. involved. Yeah, in that it, same it, area. it appears that way right now, yes. It's the last information I have. That second gentleman that was shot, there was an argument or a confrontation mm -hmm. between the shooter and that victim. Mm -hmm. Do we know what that was about? I, I don't have any information on that. So. Thank you very much. When we do have when we do have additional information, we will do our best to get you updated in a timely manner. Thank you guys. Appreciate sure. it.